<clears throat> hey guys, what's up? So today, uh, yeah, you may be wondering about the background and this. Um, got this for Christmas actually. It was a Christmas gift. Oh, and um, my house just uh, decided why. My housemate Lawrence decided why not to. Um, <clears throat> move. Yeah, um, mom agreed that we want to do something with the house other than make it our own. But yeah. I feel like personally I would review finally finish up the whole Xeris thing before I move on to other things. So yes, we finally finished up with a Zero Club. Which has three more episodes to review. Charge the castle. I'm already in game for one of these part two. So yes, let's continue. Let's start with it. So we begin with Zara Real after seeing that Oxy King escaped. And seeing the guards got down, and we see is EO64 is still trying to decide that declaiming that this today will be the new era for our kingdom. We march to the Indianapolis. And tomorrow, the world! Yeah! Oh yeah! Try! I'm gonna be surprised he's gonna get straight up killed by a you know! I could just imagine how Yeah, Trey also to be maybe one of the most popular characters in the island, as well as Tricky Arky is. Yes. Yeah, try a freaking luck on that if you if you ever try. Even if you try to attempt to go attack the Pokemon area. So yeah, until the resistant group here. Because this thing uh pretty much the same people that were Leading this resistance, as well as some trends. As well as some dead trends by now. Dog is recording among us, is still not dead. And also Minecraft Steve, don't forget it. Okay, yeah, to be fair, Among Us isn't that dead. Okay, to be fair, Among. Okay, and also to be fair, Among Us isn't that dead, but it doesn't have as uh, many players as people used to think. But yeah, I do. Yeah, maybe in all seriousness, I just felt, yeah, they haven't been much fun. Back at the castle, after, you know, who... After the time this thing out uh, there and decided to the speech plan so release everyone from the gold trophies, even though you should have done it that way earlier, decided to release everyone from the gold trophies, yeah, to deal with it would be basic services downfall. Yeah, I could just see that also being that. But then we see the Deer Lord. Yep, the Deer Lord. Deciding, yep, I'm gonna go. Try and you're gonna do my first move. And back outside the castle, we have an actual an epic fight scene. And Mario and SMG4 are attempting to. To uh, basically be reenact the, the part of the war of the Mario video. Even he said this scene he, he's, uh, is familiar. Apparently he knows it. Uh, apparently he uh, Apparently, assuming that's the same. Apparently. Uh, yeah, I know this is based on SMG4 continuity, but still, this feels a little off if you think about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> after trying to audio hack this. <clears throat> so, for, sorry, I don't have the copyright audio. Um, <clears throat> albeit, we get to a cool action sequence. I don't really find some scenes. And for some reason, Zen Mundo decided to try to fight, apparently! Apparently, they so only ends up thinking he thinks he probably wanted to cook Inkling. Apparently, I think the only reason they wanted to do this is they wonder what Inkling's taste like. Uh, probably he just wanted to beat 
being breaks the chowder. Boy, that sounds like dark humor. And get blasted by Eddie M64's tank. Yeah. Yeah, that didn't go too well. Yeah, after getting shot and uh, quick among us, we decided to need to deal with it. We decided to deploy a nuke. Meanwhile, back at the castle, while they're still while Wario is still dealing with the Dear Lord and everything, decided why not to go Wario, channeling his inner meme energy to become that head that Wario head meme. Meme. And defeated the Dear Lord easily. Okay, back on the outside, we get to the nuke. We see the Senate quickly! Operation Bunker! Build the bunker! Which apparently everyone almost everyone survived. But apparently, despite the bunker destroying almost everything, they apparently survived. Everyone except for Siren Man got defeated. Anyways, surprisingly, EM64 thinks he won. And we see basically Grasshopper Rider performing a sort of performing a right a Kamen Rider like kick. Sorry, I just need my mind. Also, for some reason, the scene he just. Also, for some reason, he before the bomb was dropped. The nuke was dropped. He just kind of let the fight. He could have just helped us. For some reason, I think it's for some reason. <laughs> As the car knocks down and revealing SMJ Trey is still alive. Eve. And chases EM64. So, yeah, I decided whether to go save the castle. So then, the EM64. Or after Sir Evan EM64 Chad. Um. Yeah, well, after Zara finished up talking to the Dear Lord, he would go ahead and... Sorry, but Zara, but he will be there later. Just go to the door, yeah, you will know why it's been... I might have been done, but you will be there. Zara... Yeah, talk to E6. Zara... Yeah, M64 and phone Zara about, basically, that they managed to defeat the small aliens thing. Defeat the small... things, and... After an ambush attack, and decided Zero decided, you know what? I know. Oh, and also I heard Optimus is heading to the trophy room. <laughs> <laughs> so I got a new plan. So you decided went on to give the M sixty four an escape plan. For some reason, I don't get why didn't she just do something else later? I okay. And as I used it, so you chose the M sixty four to the teleport to the to escape outside, and wanting a final. Fight. Trash the Castle pretty much feels like a setup for a war game. game, but it's still pretty much just a good end. See, in the go for. Mainly to prepare for the two part finale. Funny thing about this finale, originally that was going to be a one. It's going to be a whole finale, but due to the time constraints, it was split into two parts. So we begin with, well. Well, the trophy room after Octa King. Yeah, then finally make it to the trophy room. Um, S and G trick mob, Mayor Octa King, Peach, and Wire in the trophy room. Ox, S and G trick made it in, and the rest of the mean resistance crew also that, except for the rook army troops. So they went to the trophy room and and. Yeah, some GG was talking about something he created. It was there, pretty much. So, while well, some of the crew members decided to run to go and fight, some stayed to release everyone from the. Everyone. Well, some decided to, to fight. Being Oxy King, Mario, SMG Tree, Wario, Waluigi, Luigi, Bowser, and Grasshopper, basically. By yeah, I put just some stuff in my contact, but you get the point. Well, the rest of the side of the day are pretty much then. Now, what are they doing pretty much us? I need to see what they are. One of you, the other. After that. Yeah, everything they. I. Everything doesn't really seem well. Grasshopper noticed the. Uh, Zero hiding in behind the camera, and after something a shot, and I don't think it. Uh, that's inkling. And then again, that's ink. I don't think I would kill someone. Anyway, Zero appears and we get to a cool fight scene. Albeit, I felt despite Zero being an intended villain, I didn't really feel like she's one of the more. Okay, you know what? I'll just save it when we actually talk about the arc as an overall thing for me.
Anyways, so when they were chatting about all of this, so yeah, they talk about eventual things and stuff that happened. Of what all happened with the business and everything. Oh, and also, the dear Lord, for the most part, is just a, and he's up in the, and the dear Lord blocks me at the door. And by the way, he's been blocked for the most of the, most of the, throughout the entire episode. He's like, yo, yeah, I'm just gonna stand here and guard this door. I don't need to help and every, I'm just gonna defend this door. This one, the fact I could just actually help a fight. Maybe I'm just, maybe Sarah thought it would be a great idea just to, yeah, mm-mm. Um. Uh, so... So, so I decided to summon the bomb, decided to begin this true plan. Summon the bomb that will kill and take the entire castle. And yeah, Zara so decided to resummon her giant generals, and may I remind you the generals he has? He has a red right baron, which for whatever reason his name will be revealed to be Seta, uh, even, I'm assuming they're referring to Satan, uh, so I don't know if this means to be a typo or something, but, and to be honest, I would have gone with an actual better name to just Seta, and then just go with the actual other name I would call this guy, a red baron. I don't get why you could just summon a red baron. I mean, Red Barons are much, are, mind you, a lot deadlier. Are much deadlier than just straight up. Of any other. Oh. Apparently, oh yeah, I don't. Oh, uh, apparently, me. Satan. Yeah, I was checking the video with him, but uh, apparently, I wouldn't call him it. I don't get why didn't he just use the original devil model. I'm assuming someone forgot to check to use that devil model. And instead, uses the red baron. I wouldn't feel see, see this guy. Oh yeah, Satan. Literally, that's a red barrel. I don't get why they suddenly just change his model and just change it to Satan instead of that. Eh, would have just gone with the cup as one. At least he makes kind of sense, actually makes sense. But Sata doesn't really fit, but the red bar in the current one they were using, the red barrel one. I don't think I should be, oh my god. I should be intimidated because he is Satan. Okay, you know what? If it was Satan, I would have just gone with someone else. Oh, uh, even I would use DC's Lucifer. I'll just use the live. I'll just use Lucifer from from Lucifer, or, or, and it would be a convincing statement than a Red Baron. No offense, but I felt well, no offense to Oxy King, but I felt like personally you could have just use a Cyber. Team. If you, you if you were going to use a Stronger General, use a Cyber Team, and he is pretty much a deadlier kind of character and someone you would not want to mess with. Is, is that I wouldn't be afraid of a if it was a cyber demon I would actually be convinced that was your conversation model that will be used I kind of wish they kind of use a red arrow or at least someone less Okay, I know I can't deadly is too big, but I would most likely go with someone that actually fits the whole deadly theme and not just use a red barrel a model. Use a cyber demon next time if you're going to represent the character to represent Satan. Also, I don't know if this I uh, why I was referring to red barrel as Satan in part two. I don't know if that was meant to be a typo or something, but yeah. So yeah, he calls and makes fun of the red generals, yeah. Alright, it was back to the general side for oh yeah, right for the player mission. Yeah, there was Happy Mass Man. Yeah, I could see that guy maybe with that smile, but yeah, somewhat. Oh yeah, right, uh, Jeffrey Pin. And Jason. Yeah, I can see intimidating these two. I can see someone intimidating at least. Jason feels like he's intimidating at least out of the tree. Sorry, I makes fun of it in his, his retaliation. It says Jeffrey on that guy. 
But yeah, heavy yellow in the base of that. So anyway, let's use that. Oh, it's not a very bad. Like, the dude looks like Satan. Even this one means like, no, I am not gonna move. I will just stand here and wait for the dream. Strong, by strong, the strange strong, the generals to fight. And I'm just gonna stand here to stand. I'm just gonna stand here and do guard the door, even though I could actually fight. Okay, typically, you gotta give a warrior, but don't worry. And yeah, I'll be it. I feel like this fight scene, it's kind of funny though, in the beginning. The right battle on was going, yeah, I'm not gonna go refer to that guy, by the way. I'm gonna refer to that guy, at the red, that Satan, as an actual Satan. I'm gonna refer to him as the right battle because I felt like he actually feels like a right Considering his model and everything. And I don't think that would really be like an insane scene to me. Anyways, Oxy can use the power of Jesus! And yeah, Mario is easy to beat. I mean, the spicy is pretty cool and everything. I really like it. Oh, I really like this shot. Sorry, he uses an umbrella gun. I forgot. Sorry, if I forgot how to use an clean weaponry. He's like, yeah, you can't shoot me up with a coup! Yeah, and then just. And when I said he, yeah, well. <laughs> it's not like I was shooting even after the whole. Yeah, it's just about like, just like, keep shooting him in the stomach. Mario does, Mario does have to throw Jeffrey at the, the chase side, closing the door. Yeah, that should be with that kid. Bowser decided to use fire for trying to burn and clean, but uh, she just like and use Bowser's body as like a slide. Like <laughs> he's some characters. I have a mass man decided to wanna use a rope. And got some decided to jump high and is you know mm -mm, that'd be simple. So I decided I wanted to go try to charge it. Like but yeah, I got something for the game. And SG4 uses uh, the distracting Henry meme. Distraction dance. Yeah, well. Anyway, so I'll be able to get to good fight scenes. So, yeah, and after that, they do the generic it's over speech and everything. But um, then we get back to the backstory for those who actually watch the broken computer arc, which I don't recommend. Yeah. Despite being an art that, that feels like you should be required to watch, you don't really need to watch since there is a concern for... <laughs> Considering for the most part, the art didn't feel like the computer didn't feel like the main film. It didn't really feel like it had too much main focus in the arc, and some of this was just feel like straight out of the village arc. I know it's like the Waluigi arc and the rapping ball bar, but then he still two arcs. I know these were early arcs, and I know this is his first arc, but at least they were during us in his first two arcs. At least it still in some way keeps to the story. Sure, and you can say about the recent YouTube arc, but at least the YouTube arc, at least have maybe the first four videos, at least the fifth video at least tries to pick up of an interesting story coming up. And at least the first four episodes feel do feel like setups. But yeah, I thought the broken computer was more well, the broken computer, a framing device. Yes. While the rest of it, yeah, maybe it just felt like it didn't feel like an actual arc. So anyways, due to her loneliness and you want her to show the backstory, she was once supposed to be a creation. Yeah. She was supposed to be for Aki King's Splatoon video, but due to being too much of a copy. And after the rage powers and everything. And you see her use her true powers. And the ending of part one pretty much is pretty good. And, well, yeah, we're in the end game now. And, like, uh, and then we get to the finale. Mario in game part two. So the episode begins with a fear. Okay, I better not talk about this. Okay. So Mario's night so SG4 this continuity's nightmare is Zero's death again! Why do we need to mention that Zero's death? Like, really, I get Zero's death was there, but it still doesn't make any no sense sometimes. To me, it makes no sense to me. One second, I think I need to do something quick. Just respawn. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> I need to clear something on my mind. And, uh, I need to write that um, one particular thing out of the way. Seriously though. No. <clears throat> why did she just why didn't they just give her other options of respawnation? Or all those things work only on Mario characters or or Mar or 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 
OC characters. This is a good in your explanation that you're going to just use any of the other items that were used in SNG4. In the SNG4 verse, that can just bring back Elsie to life. <sighs> sorry, sorry. I have a bad tendency. Whenever I mention that death, I said, whenever anyone mentions that death, I would literally just question why she couldn't just respawn. It's been a bad habit ever since the anime arc, and yeah, ever since I finished watching the anime arc, and it's a bad habit for me to just rant about it sometimes whenever it was brought up. Seriously, can they just explain in universe, or at least have creator, or at least have a word of God, aka the creator, say, "Oh, hey, there's a good reason why." Okay, you know what? The more I talk about it, I feel like I'm just gonna go for the longer. Let's just continue with the review. Mario's nightmare is that. Not being f famous? I don't get this dream. He was about Mario not being famous and being unknown. I don't get it. It's never explained, but uh, I know that someone said in an interview that says this. I know that also officially uh, Oxygen did confirm. I mean, some secret for now, but I would imagine it'll be at least something. I'm gonna. S it did feel uh, like a question to me. Actually. On such an event, sometimes on those occasions. Maybe it's just me. Just me. But I think they really want to see that for a future video, so I'm assuming Halloween of 2021, my prediction for that video would be. And last but not least, PewDiePie and Oxy King's fear here is being mis being called an SMG. Being that apparently being confused for someone that being called an SNG, being mistaken for SNG4. Being an SNG4 wannabe. Yeah, I get why, and concerning the circus, mostly just that, uh, concerning most of the circus, I would say that. So, anyways, Grasshopper survives this because she was wearing her helmet. Yeah, I know she said mask, but that's a helmet. Also, I am not making that joke. I know I wanted to make that joke. And also, I'm not making that joke. I'm not making that certain joke. I know everyone. I'm trying to enjoy myself. Maybe in the future once this all is over, but no. So we got to a cool fight with Zareph and Grasshopper, and Dude Lord's still just going, Yeah, I'm just still going to guard the door, and not actually help. And not actually help fighting. So anyway, so the So yeah, leading the SMG tree for me. Waking up most of the characters, apparently it just puts them to sleep. With apparently the happy salesman and and Greg Barron were hating in the background, like, yeah, okay, why are these two like, okay, if these two, okay, if these two ever wake, if any of these wake up, we like, kill them immediately. Also, for some reason, I don't think this is a weird tweet or something. Also, for some reason, I don't think this is a weird tweet or something. Apparently, there's a tweet of SMG4 saying every salesman sucks ass for some weird reason. And despite that this episode takes place somewhere around 2019, I don't know. Is it me or does he feel the weird inconsistency that this arc is supposed to take place? I don't know the consistency of time and placement. I've been assuming they've been sleeping throughout the rest of December by now, judging by that tweet over there. There, uh, it does feel a little weird. I don't know that this series doesn't really have time play, but it does feel off that. Um, how long were they being asleep for? So it's seen, and yeah, I know this was the. Just feels. I don't know what the original take was. Maybe I just feel like it just feels a little off when you think about it. Uh, it's one of these. So yeah. So they decided why not SCG Tree decided. Needs to come here. Decided why not to create something stronger than Zeraf. So Mario decided to volunteer. After doing some epic fight, Zeraf was distracting. And well, because so 
when the grasshopper is almost down, and uh, I'm going to kill him, well, uh, obviously can summon something. Summon something that power, obviously can declare, calls it a god. And it is. A Mario Jojo. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh, well, I like so. Well, at least it's better than. And, and that's the other thing I feel like I don't want to mention. I am not. You know what? I'm just gonna say it. Yes, I'm just gonna say it. Ultra is. Sick. At least it's better than just using it. A dead meat. In what? Ultra is in dead meat. In Shaggy and. One sec. I feel like I forbid. Want to just go over the random. Why the hell couldn't they just use any other characters and whatnot? One sec. Sorry, I had to clear up my rants real quick. <clears throat> Back to the review, of course. Eh, eh. So anyways, he was like, Nope, I am not fighting! I'm going to rock! I'm just going to hide away! So yeah, he summons a Jojo Mario, which is just Jotaro reskinned. In Mario's clothing, the mustache. And Albia, we get to a cool fight scene between them, these two. Anyway, Albia gets a cool fight scene between those two. Oh, and Albia, a cool fight scene. I mean, with Jojo like stuff and everything. And they start to deal with the bomb. And yeah, for some reason the red oh yeah, funny thing, like when the sub when the Red Baron yeah, I'm still not gonna call him Satan though, it just doesn't feel like Satan to me. At least by the design. It's for some reason missing an N. Did someone forgot to check on the I know that they it's just this is so confusing that the the subtitles were supposed to say Satan, but they forget include Santa. Yeah. Uh, good in nature. Yeah, this is why you should check, by the way. Yeah, and spelling, by the way. Uh, apparently. So I forgot this. Okay, never mind. This is mostly great by one guy, but still. <clears throat> spelling mistake aside, yeah, the Red Baron declares that let this be a lesson to those who mess with the Empire. And instead, they decided Princess Peach decided to deal with those two, and ends up just straight up just kick. Ends up hit, and Princess Peach should belt with a bomb, and both heavy salesman and the and Baron. And the Baron's gonna see this as a Tuesday. The happy salesman can go to hell. The turn the line. Some regularity. Turn the regularity. Yeah, the heavy says one's going is going to hell, and I'm just gonna say the red barrel is just going for the red barrel. It's going back home. Mm, yeah, and so it's right to the Prince's kingdom. So then we get back tomorrow fighting Zera. Oh. Which is a badass fight. So yes, Zera uses his final move that didn't really kill anyone, and my Jojo Mara ends. Decided to straight up just straight head to the heart, true Zara, and disintegrate Zara, and straight up disintegrate Zara. Uh. Oxy King's remarks, if I had known back then. Yeah, 64 is about to attack him, but the Joker Mario decided to stop. So, yeah, EM64 decided to go to the cliche, this is not the end, I'm going to go get a new army, and pretty much go crush you under your heel, my heels. I'm assuming this is going to lead to a spin-off series, a new, I'm just going to assume this is going to lead to a new arc or something, I don't know if this is going to lead to a new arc, or something in Seraph. Or, this is an excuse to pick out Sarah for a while before we can bring him back with an army, or see a series about it, or whatever they're gonna, he's gonna do with it. I don't know what he's gonna do with Sarah after this song. I'm, I mean, sorry, I'm gonna do with EM64. He dec I'm assuming EM64 is gonna go back with his own army for an arc or something, but never. But yeah, I'm gonna assume that's gonna be the set of basis for the next arc. Mario goes back to his normal film, and... Well, day one, Zerf is dead. Excuse me. Excuse me. Both Oxy King and Mari decided to go home. 
Excuse me. Three days later. Later. Um, SNG4 announces that he's leaving, deciding why not head back home to Australia. Oh man, you need to do an SMG tree. Who well, I'm assuming just left the city at some between either of those three days. I'm assuming at one point he's like, well, you know what? I'm going back. To you know what? I'm going back to evil. Yeah, it's, never, it's kind of weird how he's just straight up gone after the episode. Uh, why is he gone? Is no one going to question the fact that he just he just goes away or something? We just straight up, we straight up end the episode. Episode like there and then, yeah. We straight up end the episode like. That. And no, it's SNG for playing as since he's the to work on. I don't know how long Metro is gonna last, but I don't think the so far it's already announced that this there's a third season coming. So I don't know how many seasons Metro is gonna be. If it doesn't last more than 10 seasons, I'm making the signs aging like milk. If you're going to predict how many seasons the show has, please make sh please don't do that. Please, please don't do that. You'll probably age like milk of depending on how short or, or close. Even if it's close to like by two, then it's still not predicting it. I don't think, think he's going to work on the show for a very long time. And so I'm gonna say so far it's only three seasons, but if it does well, last for ten seasons, then yeah, you predicted it. But if not, eh, it kind of ate a bit of like milk there. But you're kind of right. It worked a bit longer. So yeah, SNG4 decided to leave. Um, I'm assuming PewDiePie Plus with Maggie and Wimpa cameos. He obviously is driving back to Australia, and we also see Bob in the cameo. Leaving. It's what I consider this scene is more to consider as a goodbye. Yeah, I do feel like this scene was mirroring. And while it's more just him when you move on from being an SMG 4 1. Being uh, as well as yeah, other things. And, and well, yeah, and he's going. I mean. Maybe I'm just gonna say the treasure mark thing would just be more whenever you need to, but you know, nah. So yeah. Ending with Oxy King deciding why not to do the same thing what Mario and Oxy King and also SMG4 decided not to do is to take over you try and take over you two. Yeah, the last time Yeah, okay, I know this is a separate continuity, but uh if you have watched SNG 4s YouTube Black continuity, then I will Oh, this is going to end up where SG3 ends up in the internet graveyard, so yeah. Unless popularity wise, then yes, but well, this feels like one way. I'm just feeling like he just wanted to bring the SG3 back. SG4 back. I'm just assuming he just said that's how you can do it. I'm assuming he's just going to do what SG3 is going to do. So he can just bring the SG4. Okay, jokes aside. Okay, jokes aside. I mean, I get their mid popularity wise, but uh. When you try not seeing it, it's not like you're going to about to take over the world. It's not like you're going to take over, over the world. It was the internet or something, so, but yeah. And yeah. Oh, and QA coming up soon, so. If you remember that. And overall, the Zerf arc is pretty good. I feel like this arc was more of SMG4 trying to. Move on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Try to move on from being an SMG one of the end. 
Yeah, it does feel like it wants to feel like a a move on from being an SMG four. Being an SMG four would be in I get it makes sense in that moment. Now, as for other things, I do feel like I would like to see when the RC. I don't know if, whether or not what his future is going to hold. Though I do feel like EN64 is going to come back. I do feel like SMG4. I'm going to say that it'll be fun. Is that Mario is going to be there? I don't know what new or at least similar content is going to make. I don't know if it's going to still create new characters, but have some. That's me. That's me. And possibly similar to their average to SMG Force characters or and many other things that it does feel like questioning. I know that there, this arc is gonna alter a fair few characters' personalities and traits and will also be Yeah, And yeah, there's gonna be a lot of personality changes and whatnot and everything. Yeah, it was stated a couple of months ago that you would that this arc was gonna change a lot because his personality is most organ. I would also admit I do So, yeah. You know... After this arc and you know, nothing like it, and, you know, yeah, it's still, you know, still it just feels like, yeah, I know, oh yeah, right, uh, that's what I'm saying, yeah, a few months ago they said that this is going to change a lot of character personalities, and I would like to see what character personalities they change after the whole arc ended, and even a lot of things that is going to change up in the future. Sure. I don't know what is going to change a lot, except for new personalities and character dynamics and maybe even a lot of stuff, but... Maybe we'll wait and see, and I feel like it's a nice two opportunity to take a break from Oxy King for at least a. I would like to see what Oxy King is up to in about maybe a few months. I would see what Oxy King is going to be up to after a few months. I'm going to say. Not a few years, but I would say. Three months at best. I'll do three months, and I would say about three months at least. Why three months? Uh, just in case. Because I want to be sure, maybe just for three months at least. Three months, and then we'll come back in like three months later so we can see. What has changed and what has not changed after this whole or And then did. Yeah. Now, if you excuse me, I just. Now, you know, this is just pushing me, like, you know. You know what? I'm just going to say the short version. It's good and pretty much overall pretty good one. A major step up from Neil. Oh, awesome. From the Broken Career arc. And honestly, I do hold more so like this than the Broken Career. Now, yeah, I don't know if this is going to be pretty much over the future, so, yeah. Anywho, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to break off to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time, and goodbye. Oh, you may be wondering why I didn't cover the... I intended they wanted to cover the Charts of Castle before the endgame episodes, but...
uncover it in the end game or best of it, but I decided instead to just cover the last few episodes so it's a different amount of video since it's gonna be a bit mad since I'm gonna know. So yeah, sorry for all the dead silence from most of this uh, this ending and I'll just give you still give you the short version. It's pretty good. Good and master step up from the broken computer right and yeah, I'm a bit speechless, so. Which gives me, um, optical work repair for my whatever I have to do today.